Welcome to BI348 class video number 30. If you want to download this workbook, BI348 chapter 2.5 import 1 text files, or you want to download the zipped folder import 01 text C SV files that contain these text files, click on the link below the video. Hey, now actually, I've already done this exact example here, but I did it in Excel 2013. I just want to show you in Excel 2016, that's a brand new version that just came out less than a month ago. I want to show you where Power Query is. So in earlier versions, you had to download it, and it would show up as a Power Query ribbon tab. But now we simply go over to Data, and there it is, Get and Transform. And since we have text files in a folder, we want to go over and click New Query from file and from folder. Now, video 28 and 29, we did exactly the same thing from file, from folder, but this was actually a button in the Power Query ribbon tab. So when I click, boop, this looks like the same exact dialog box. We're going to click Browse. I'm going to browse to find my folder that I downloaded and unzipped. And inside of it, there's start files. Now, the way that from file, from folder works is we're telling Power Query to always look in this folder. It will actually try to import all of the files. So when I click OK and then click OK, wow, the Power Query query editor looks exactly the same. Now I'm going to come over here and be sure and give it a good name. I call it import grade data from text files. Step one is we have .txt, which is tab separated data, and .csv, comma separated. And I only want the text, so I'm going to click the drop down and filter out the .csv. So now this query is programming. Over here, you can see the steps to look in that folder and only get file extensions.txt. Now check this out. If we were to dump more text files in that folder and refresh inside of Excel, it will automatically go out and get those. Right now, we only have two files. Now, we don't need any of this. Right click content, remove other columns. Now we come to our double downward pointing arrow. Click to expand. And it did a few steps here. If we look right here, import CSV, that really um, is just the term they use for whatever type of text data. Notice that the field names at the top of each data set are being treated as a record. But it automatically did this step, promote to headers, and then change the type. So right here, this should be text. Right here, this should show up as decimal number. So that's pretty cool. Now we have to be careful. When we're importing from a folder, we have to make sure that the actual field names in the other file, because this is just from the first file, there's actually, for us, one other file way down there that has the field names listed as a record, and I don't want that. So we have to pick one of the columns, and I'm going to pick the column that has the fewest unique records, and I'm going to click the filter. And if you have big data sets, you'll see Load More. You always want to click Load More, because it will try and go through and find the unique list from all of the files. We see our list here. It's complete. And notice Course ID. Of course, the first file promoted it, but that one record further down there has the field name. So when I filter this, it will actually filter out the whole record, which means the actual three field names from that second file. I'm going to click OK, and there it is. All of our steps, we have a name. Now we can go to Home, Close and Load. You don't want to do that unless you just want it automatically on the new sheet. I'm going to have Complete Control, so I click Close and Load too. We're going to dump it as a table. You could do only create a connection and then dump it into the data model. We did that last video, video number 29. But here, we just want to dump it as a table. I'm going to click Existing Worksheet A1 is fine and click Load. 
And just like that, it's going to go and get those text files and dump it right here. Now, back in video number 28, we took this example and built a dashboard and then added new files and refreshed and everything updated. The point of this video is just to show you that Excel 2016, no problem, data ribbon, and get and transform, that is Power Query. All right, we'll see you next video.